In thinking about glorified bodies for believers, what is Dr. Heiser's thought on why Jesus would have retained scars from the crucifixion in spite of having a completely new glorified body post-resurrection? Or maybe that's not true for us. Then again, what does this say for those believers who've been dismembered or otherwise scarred? Yeah, I, I think that in the case of Jesus, I think what you know what happens in, in the narratives and the way you know he's portrayed is deliberate. I think it's also deliberately selective in terms of uh, the wounds that that Jesus has in the resurrection body, and, and it's deliberately selective to authenticate that this was in fact Jesus. Now you note in in the descriptions of the resurrected Christ that the other wounds of the crucifixion are not there. The the whippings, the 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 scarred brow from the crown of thorns, the you know the punches and beatings and all that stuff. None of that's present with Jesus' resurrected body. He is he is completely whole, and you know new in in the sense that that stuff's gone. But the wounds of the cross are present, and again, I think that was providential that God did that again to authenticate that this isn't somebody else. This is specifically Jesus. So. You know, the wounds of being nailed to the cross, the spear in the side, remain to prove, authenticate that this was, in fact, uh, the same person who was crucified, Jesus of Nazareth. So, consequently, I think in the, those instances are exceptional, and that glorification will involve wholeness and healing, because the rest of Jesus' wounds are healed. Again, the only ones that remain are to authenticate who it was. And so, yeah, I, I think, you know, in, in the in the case of our own bodies, you know, we don't have to worry about having a, a glorified body that, that still is dismembered, you know, that sort of thing. I think we'll be made whole, we'll be made new, and we'll still be identifiable. Again, there are indications of, of Scripture here and there, are little, little, you know, comments uh, about heavenly scenes and whatnot where people are identifiable and people know who, who they are. Uh, so I think, you know, we'll be intact and recognizable and whole and complete. 